an early aeroplane called the Hill Pterodactyl. This machine, having dispensed with the customary tailplane, was of a revolutionary nature, and we shall see it again. You have seen a model of this machine in the spinning tunnel, the Hill Tailless Aeroplane. The controls are being tested prior to a test flight. The flight took place in April 1926, before the days of self-starters and runways. Aircraft had no smooth tarmac to help them with their takeoff run, and with their low-powered engines no doubt found the going heavy before being airborne. As compared with the biplanes of those early days, this aeroplane presented an entirely new aspect, and there is no doubt it showed the shape of things to come. Another departure from normal was the fitting of air brakes. With these it was possible to prevent stalling at low speeds and also considerably reduce the landing run.